boys and girls. Today we're doing math lesson 16 1. Hi Penelope, how are you friends? Good morning Mrs. Sims. How are you? I'm great. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Okay. I'm so excited. I can't wait to start our math lesson today. I can tell. Okay, words to know. Boy. Cubes. Here we go. What do you see on the work mat? Hey, Penelope, um, what's there? Those are cubes. You are right. Great Red ones and orange ones. Oh, look at you. Red one and orange ones. There are some cubes. How are the cubes set up? Um, I think they're in a row. Oh, in rows? Yes, in rows. Do you know anything else about them besides they're in rows, Penelope? All the red ones are together. Oh, great job. And the orange ones are together, too. Great job, Penelope. The cubes are in rows. The orange cubes are in the top row. The red cubes are in the bottom row. I can see that. Good job. What can you tell when the orange and red cubes are matched one to one? Um, I can tell one of them is longer and has more. One of them is longer and has more. Uh -huh. Great job, Penelope. You can tell whether one row has more cubes, fewer cubes, or as many cubes as the other row. Great. Does one row have more cubes than the other? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Which row has more? Which row, Penelope? The top row or the bottom row? I can tell the bottom row. The bottom row. Great job, Penelope. The bottom row has more. This red cube gives the bottom row more. The boy drew a picture with two rows. How does the picture go with the cubes? Hmm, Penelope, what do you think? How does the picture go with the cubes? Well, I see three red cubes and three squares that are built in. Okay, so one, two, three cubes. Yes. And one, two, three squares filled in. Yes, ma'am. What color? They're red. Great job. What else do you see? And I see the orange cubes at the top have three orange squares colored in, in the graph. In the graph? Three orange ones? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I mean two. I counted wrong. Two. 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 Good job, Penelope. One, two, and one, two. Yes, ma'am. The picture matches the cubes. The picture shows two boxes in the top row and three boxes in the bottom row. Look at the picture. Why is there a check by the bottom row? Hmm, Penelope, why do you think they put a check by the bottom row? Well, do you think maybe because it has more? I think you could be right. It means that the bottom row has more. Yay! You have learned how to know if a row has as many, more, or fewer. Great job, Penelope. All right, friends, this lesson goes with worksheet 16-1. Have a great day.